Hi everyone, I'm Dylan Rogers. I'm the content strategy manager for Schoology, and we're here with Joe. Hi, I'm Joe Vasala. I'm a professional development specialist here at Schoology. And Joe wanted to talk about a responsible way to use a GIF. Yeah. So, can be pronounced GIF or GIF. I learned that on Jeopardy, actually. It was a final Jeopardy question. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So we all know, well, most of us know, that we can put GIFs um, in quite a few places in Schoology, our course photos, our profile pictures, um, and then other places within the rich text editor throughout Schoology. Right. But there is a responsible way and an irresponsible way to use GIFs inside of Schoology. So I think we're going to take a look at each of those. Okay, and this is our way of displaying a crazy irresponsible use of GIFs. Now, if students are able to choose their profile photo, they can end up essentially selecting anything they want if that permission is enabled. So if students are putting GIFs in here, we want to think about this in potentially a discussion question. What kind of distractions would end up occurring uh, for the student when they are trying to manage something like this? I can't even focus on the fact that student two here went to Disneyland. So we want to discourage the use of crazy GIF usage in Schoology and think about when there's a responsible time to use GIFs because they are fun and can be used for interaction. And this isn't just limited to students. I see a lot of uh, faculty using GIFs as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so think about this. The more it moves, uh, the harder it is to concentrate on what, what is next to it. Um, and so that's that kind of brings us to our responsible way. Yeah. This would be mine on the blog. You think it's a picture. Now this is a little, maybe a little overdone on that part. Uh, ah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> that is a responsible way to use a GIF. And Not distracting, and it's fun. And the shameless self-plug. Exactly. Yeah, I like it. <laughs>